got to feel in heaven when my lover's near. Lord, let this moment last for another year. Though today has ended, the night's still young, I'd say. Lover, don't go away. Let it be the thing that I am longing for. Let's fly out from Manhattan to the California shore. Just to watch the ships at night on the San Francisco Bay. Oh, lover, please, please stay. Don't say you have to go. Don't say you need to run. I'll stop the clock on Central Station and we can have a drink downtown. Let it be the night that I am longing for Let's fly down south to Austin or to Ecuador Just to drink pina colada on a hot wet summer's day Oh lover, please, please stay Oh, I hit the wrong button. Oh, la, la. <laughs> I hit something wrong. What is going on? Well, you can see an ingredient that we, uh, that's will be an ingredient that'll be in later. Oh, yeah. Just gotta, oh, yeah, we got some Surprise. stuff. Surprise. There we go. What's going on here? It's being a little weird today. I'm gonna just, hang on. Hold up. One moment, please. Hold up. <laughs> Things are happening. What else is new? Uh, <laughs> How's everybody Zoop. doing? There it is go. Thursday, as Danny oh, said. It is there we are. Clock. Fixed it. Fixed it. Yeah. I mean, that's still up, but that'll go away in a minute. Oh, yeah. Hi, how are you? I'm, uh, it's been a day. It's been a day. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Stir crazies. Stir crazies. Uh, to, uh, Sanka Set, the, to episode 20. Oy vey. 20 episodes. Oy. It's, 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 it's not a sprint, man. No, no, this is a long run. Uh, if you're here, say hi in the chat. We want to talk to everybody who's in. Um, yeah, we're having a good day. It's Bob's Burger Day. It is Bob's Burger Day. Bob's Burgers all day. No, it no? has not been Bob's Burgers all day. But now that we're here, I can be in Bob's Burgers, and that's that's groovy. For those of anybody who's on who doesn't know who we are, uh, my name is Divine Danny D. This is the lovely El Diablo. I am the lovely El Diablo. And uh, we are <laughs> based in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, where we are both burlesque performers. I'm a host, comedian, producer. I am a host, uh, not comedian. Uh, You're very funny, though. Uh, looks on everything, buddy. Oh. Uh, <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Uh, no, I'm a burlesque dancer and host and producer and teacher and choreographer and ta -da! all kinds of stuff. I wear many hats. And if you've never seen the show before, we, this show we like to say it's part cooking, mm -hmm. a lot of drinking. Bocoops drinking. Last week, I think we got all drunk. Last week, we were a little drunk on the show. It happens. It happens. It happens. We're human. Yes. Uh, but it's some funny. It is some, a some little bit. Some sexy. Some sexy. Some weird. A lot of weird. A lot of weird. A lot of weird. A lot of weird. So if you're down with weird. This is the place to do it. You're in the right place. Um, <laughs> and today we're really, really lucky because right over there is Lou Lawrence. Yes. She's live in right the studio here. She's going to play music for us later. Surprise! Kingpin's going to be here. Not here. He's not here. Be like he's going to be in Toronto. In Toronto, but but with us. With us by the in magic video of, spirit. By the magic of. 
and also um, oh the what we have we have some really good food and some really good drinks today. Yeah. One drink that I got from a really interesting source, which I'm going to talk about a little bit later. Okay. Today. And one drink I just made up. But all both of them are inspired by two cocktails lightly mentioned in Bob's Burgers. Yes, well, that's why I was wondering how we went from taking cocktails from the episode and then you making them up. Yeah, yeah. No, we have a couple. Well, one, one, one cocktail that I'm making tonight is based on somebody else's cocktail. Yes. So I'll talk about when we make that. And like I said, the second one is sort of my inspiration for that cocktail, for this, the second cocktail. Um, it's a, it's a, it's gonna be a fun day. It's a very fun day. You already got a little sniffly. I've got a very sniffly nose to I like this. You look very, very lovely in this little black outfit. Oh, thank you. It's very nice. It was my what to wear. Ha! This. <laughs> but black and red and all looks great. Yeah, well, I'm also noticing over there that I clearly have taken some sun, but not all of the sun. Well, at least you can't see. I don't, I've got a, I have a, a, a mosquito bite. That happened right well, in looks, the. I have a tiny little horn. It actually looks. Most people like, don't know, but I do have a tiny horn right here. Looks like they might have moved into your. Head. I have a mosquito bite on that horn. Oh, yeah. It's weird. So it looks like my horn is growing. I think I'm becoming a unicorn. Right. <laughs> Someday. Someday would be weird. Ah. Uh, Shall we check in and see who's here tonight? We can do that. Let's go over to the people. Hi, people. How are you? Yes, Look at Kelly. Uh, Kay Hill is here. Hey, uh, hey. Hey, hey. Sean Colton. Hi, Sean hey, Colton. Hey. How are you? Uh, Colton asks, can you guys up on Twitch? Can you got you guys up on Twitch on the TV and YouTube <laughs> chat popped to my laptop as I drink a cocktail and do a little editing? Excellent. Well, that sounds lovely. I'm doing the same thing. Uh, <laughs> my mom is here. Would be a show without my mom. Uh, it would never be a show without your mom. Crazy. That's some new people. If it wasn't for your mom, we wouldn't have the show. <laughs> it's true. It's very true. Um, what's up? What's up from Audrey yeah, Ivory? Mr. Mr. Portugal. Mr. Portugal is here. Uh, Danny the Unicorn. That is uh, that is my Saturday morning cartoon. Not your nickname in high school? No, 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 no. no. That would be just ridiculous. what that, I. Th that would be ridiculous. It would be. <laughs> just what I thought. I have you all figured out. We have. Uh, yeah. It's, this is, very, this is a good group. We're going to have a little bit of a contest later on today. We are going to have a contest So if you're today. here, you're going to be eligible to win stuff today. Yay! If you're here watching the show. If you're not watching the show, well, first of all, you probably don't know this. Or if you're watching it after the fact. Too and bad, so sad. It's, you should come to the live, live show and you can win stuff. And so today you're going to win. We're going to have wins. We're going to win stuff. We're going to send, get people to win stuff. And Joe's here. Joe's here. Hello, Joe. Hello, lovely people. Everybody, this is so nice. Everybody, everybody loves this shirt. This is a good shirt. I love this shirt. <gasps> Hello. Wow. It's, oh, it just keeps going. Everybody. Well, Maria's here. She's had a rough, uh, a rough 12 hours. <laughs> we have all people all the way from the Yukon. Uh, she's, Audrey Ivory, I believe, is eating bonbons and watching us. Are you in bed? Are you in bed eating bonbons you watching us? Because I want to know about that. Floofy slippers. Shall we go back to the world? Uh, you just got a little slider message that slid across from Chef Diane. Oh, do I? Yeah. What did Chef Diane say? Something about sound. Oh, I have no sound on Skype. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have sound on Skype. I don't know why. Let's make sure. We're just going to fix Chef Diane. Uh, oh, I know why. I, I think I know why Chef Diane does not have audio on Skype. Oh. Just fixing it in for Chef Duyan. You fix it in for Chef Duyan. There we go. Let's go to... Oh. Uh, Audrey's naked on the couch. There you go. Watching Hopefully that better. will work better for you, Chef Duyan. Well, that might fix what he's looking for. All right. Yes. Sliding over there. We're going to move over to there. And we're going to talk about some stuff. Moving. I don't know what I'm allergic to today. Maybe you're allergic to Luke. I don't think that's possible. I don't think so. I, don't I hope think so. not. I, I, mm -hmm. Because it's nice that she's here. It is lovely. She was rehearsing with it. It's it, kind of beautiful. It, it, I said, that's coming from my living room. I know. So I like beautiful. having our concerts in our living room. Little concerts? Little concerts in our living room. It's fantastic. Fun. Makes us feel very uh, SNL. I keep calling it our studio. Yes, I know. I'm aware. It's our studio. Live in studio. In the salon. <laughs> um, so what are we going to cook today? Well, we're making burgers. We're making burgers. Bob's Burgers. Bob's you love burgers. Bob's Burgers. I do love Bob's I, Burgers. Did I introduce you to Bob's Burgers? No, I think my friend Joe Belanger introduced me to Bob's mm -hmm. Burgers. 
But and you I never think watched I the whole thing. I watching it more when we got together, and it really does make me chuckle. It's a very funny show. Immensely. It's a lovely show. Um, so, yeah, and yeah. Um, I think it was last Christmas. I found, because I was looking for yeah. a Christmas present for Joe, and I found out that there was a Bob's Burger burger book. Yeah. Which sort of also helped. Oh, yeah. let, me go, let me go get it's, that. We should have had that prop. Oh, it's right here. It is right close. Right I here. Left it close. We've got a receipt, just so. Yeah. You probably needed that in there, didn't you? I did. Oh, well. So, yeah, it's called <laughs> the Bob's Burgers Burger Book. Bob's Burgers Burger Real Book. Real recipes for joke burgers. Oh, well, there we um, are. And it's a great little book, and it's full of a lot of Put the... Put it up to the camera so people can see I it. I did, I did. Oh, did they? Yes. Um, did... Um, did you should mention how that book came to be. Because, like, like first of all, it's... They're, they do a running gag of the yes, burger absolutely. of the day, yes. which is always some kind of pun. I don't want this to get dirty. No, no. It's always some kind of pun. Yes. And there was a, a guy who decided to start make start a blog where he made these burgers. Yep. He came up with his recipe. And Lauren Bouchard, who created the show, thought that was amazing. Yep. And worked with him and a couple other chefs to turn this into an actual book. Mm -hmm. So that, I do think it's kind of cool. It Some is. guy took it upon himself, and instead of getting sued, they went, let's all make let's money. Let's collaborate. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. Yay for collaboration. Um, so, yeah, so I went through the book, and I there is easily at least 15 that I could have made today. It's happily. weird that you chose the one you did. Though. Is it, though? Is it? No, it's not at all. It is the most logical one for you to choose. And it's very funny because uh, the burger we're making today is called the Pickle My Funny Bone. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> um, with fried pickles on it, but I am not normally um, a big fan of fried pickles. Fried, I believe the pickle is perfect as it I is. I love fried pickles. But I, I know you love fried pickles, and I couldn't ignore the opportunity yeah. to fry some pickles. So, uh, for my first time ever in life, we're going to fry some pickles today. Are these a sautéed pickle, or are they are like a battered? Pickle? Oh no, it's a battered pickle. We got some ingredients. We'll be uh, cool. we'll, we'll be sharing we'll with them up we'll there, share yeah. them with the group. We'll share them with uh, that. We're going to make a little. Um, Oh, burgers. So yeah. if you guys, you could, honestly, if you're cooking along, beef works. We've been making a lot of pork burgers pork this burgers summer because they're much yeah. leaner and they're very juicy. Um, I'm going to do mine very juicy, by the way. Um, <laughs> I'm going to do Sorry, mine. Sorry, I missed that. What was that? Very juicy. I'm going to do mine in the skillet, but if you've got a barbecue um, or you want to do them in the oven, uh, whatever floats However your boat, you feel. Uh, Missy, if you want to pop your burgers in the air fryer, that probably works too. I just well, don't know for how long. This should qualify. It's not just Misty can do okay. that. But I know that well, she It'd be has weird if you just allowed Misty yeah, to um, use the but No, I, I know she... Uh, has the air fryer. I know she has an air fryer now, sure, inspired, by, uh, inspired by us. So yeah. you so. can do that. Um, but yeah, we're going to do that. Fried pickles, a burger. We're going to make a little sauce. Yeah. Um, and you are making? We are ma we're making a couple of cocktails. One is the very first cocktail that's ever mentioned on Bob's Burgers is Season 1, Episode 2, The Crawl Space, where Bob decides to escape from his in-laws by hiding out in the walls because he finds out the walls mm -hmm. are quite wide. And Teddy tells him that because it used to be a lot of speakeasies back there. And his, his uncle owned a speakeasy called the Swanky Panky. And mm -hmm. he made a cocktail called the Swanky Panky. Uh, so the guy over at uh, How to Drink, amazing YouTube channel, uh, he took it upon himself. He does a lot of different show ones. So he took it upon himself to make this drink loosely based on the hanky-panky. Because in the show, there's the only uh, mention of ingredients is two parts vermouth. Okay. And if you take Maybe a hanky-panky, well, if you take a hanky-panky, which it's probably based on, a hanky-panky is sort of a reverse martini. So instead of... It's it's uh, a ver it's vermouth with a little bit of gin. Yeah. Uh, this is this is more of a reverse Manhattan the way we're going to go about making it today with a little bit of uh, now they say frenet to get some bitter we uh, we don't don't have any frenet we don't got so I'm going to use a little bit of Suze to do it. Suze. And then the second one She's my uh, is from the episode the Equestronauts, which is one of my favorites where. Where uh, Bob has to disguise himself like the, their version of uh, bronies mm -hmm. and and uh, infiltrate this group that has stolen Tina's doll. Yes, and uh, they have their own private thing and they have their own private cocktail called the horse medicine. Mm -hmm. the, they never say what's in it, but you see the sort of glowing green drink. Mm -hmm. So we are going to make that today. Excellent. My variation of that. Groovy. Um, 
One of the nice things about Bob's Burgers and, and the whole story about the, the cookbook that I love is that it just shows me that the Bob's Burgers really like their fans getting involved in it, and they don't like to sue or threaten legal action on people who... Oh, stop, stop, stop. Poo, poo, poo. Ha, hansa, hansa, hansa. No. Which leads me to our promo. This week, we decided to go into Bob's Burgers. We did. We, we to the second week in a row, we decided to take advantage of our green screen technology yeah. and go deep inside of Bob's Burgers. Uh, stop talking about a show to the people. Ladies and gentlemen, but stir crazy. I'm going to stop doing that, but I can't. It's, it takes like 100 million times. It does to take 100 million. I'm not, your brain. I only got 475,000 left. Um, this is what we did this week. Please enjoy. Bon appetit. Hey, how's it going? Anything yet? I have a few that ish work ish ish. Oh, you hit me. The Divine Danny Cheese. Mm. Bad. Mm. Um, Munster Crazy Burger. <laughs> hey. Stir Crazy Flank a Rocket. <laughs> mm. Okay. Uh, Chef Qian Cumber. Okay, no. Uh, the Bell Diablo. That's a. Burger with bell peppers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, no. Um, the Ben Fusilli. Is that a burger with fusilli on it? No. Yes. It's not as easy to make a look on the show, is it? I, I, I don't know how we can do a Bob's Burgers episode without a Bob's Burgers sounding burger, but I've been working on this for like a long time, and the best one I've come up with, I think, is Ben Fusilli. <laughs> Maybe we just need the right inspiration. I've read the cookbook, cover to cover. Yeah. I... What we need is a trip into our imagination. Are we supposed to be going into your imagination now? Yeah. Oh, okay, because you just stopped talking and started looking that way and... Okay, please continue. Sorry, sorry. Imagination! in Bob's restaurant? Yeah, I have, a, I have a pretty strong imagination. This cannot be legal. Oh, <laughs> we don't use the eagle A word around here. And besides, it's run by a guy named Lauren. Okay, let's just get what we need and get out of here. Okay? All right. Bob's burger of the day is... Oh, what the hell, man? Mm. It's empty. Well, maybe he just hasn't written it down yet. It's got to be around here somewhere. I tell you what, you take a look up here. I'll go check the back. Oh, look, fries. Oh, you could go, you want one? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. You don't have that, actually. Yeah. yeah. Ah! What? I found something called Bob's Burger Journal. Oh, cool. Grab it and let's get out of here. All right. <laughs> cool. What are you waiting for? Oh, well, um, see, I have a pretty strong imagination. Okay, what does that mean? Well, it just means uh, <laughs> that once I go somewhere in it, it's really hard for me to get back to normal. So uh, I mean, that explains why we still have the wig from last week. Okay, wait a minute. So we're just, we're stuck here? Well, yeah, at least until I wake up. <sighs> so we're just going to wait? Well... Fine. Hi. I'm El Diablo. And I'm the Divine Danny D. Join us this Thursday, August 13th at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Facebook Live, YouTube Live, Twitch, and Twitter for the latest edition of the Stir Crazy Sanka set. This week we visit that bastion of culinary tonight delights, Bob's Burgers. Wait, if this is all happening in your imagination, mm -hmm. how is anybody going to be able to see it? I have no idea. Good. So, this week we will be making a... Ooh, pickle my funny bone burger. And to accompany uh, two cocktails from the show itself, including the swanky panky and a little bit of horse medicine. So join us, cook with us, drink with us. Or just join in all the fun and socialize, but distantly. Check the description below for your ingredients and all the crazy details. Or just visit YouTube Live, Facebook Live, Twitch, or Twitter at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Thursday, August 13th, and join in all that fun. So now we just wait. Mm -hmm.
Kids, we're home. Look at your father's arms. They shaved me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like us and hit that subscribe button. No, no subscribe button right there. Nope, nope. Okay, I'll find it. I'll find it. Uh, well, I'll look for it. Why don't you tell us about your favorite Bob's Burger creation in the comments? No, button no. Where? There. Okay. Subscribe button right there. How am I supposed to know about this? And why am I Gene? I wanted to be Teddy. <laughs> Chef Duyan! <laughs> I love Chef Duyan. Uh, who caught all of Chef Duyan's little appearances? There's technically four appearances by Chef Duyan in that video. If you caught them all, good. You're cool. Good. <laughs> if you didn't. I don't think Margarita watches Bob's Burgers. Margarita, well, there, now you have something to do. We're in some loose form of quarantine still. <laughs> Everybody needs something to watch. Uh, I believe in Canada, you can go watch it on Amazon Prime. Yeah. Baby, you can drive my car. <laughs> Baby, you can drive my car is one of my favorites. There's some good ones. Though. Uh, I still like the Molester Burger. Uh, oh, comes episode? comes with candy. Comes with candy. That's uh, Luis's prank little, burger. Little prank burger. Yeah, they didn't feel so good about that. Apparently. No, after. apparently not. No. All right, are we ready to make some drinks? You want a drink? I sure. Yes, yeah, so you got one. Why not have another? So we. Jamais un sans deux. Oui. <laughs> C'est pas. Um, we are going to make the swanky panky or the variation of the swanky panky as they made on how to drink. Uh, he's an amazing bartender. If you ever get a chance, go over to how to drink and whatnot right now, but go well, watch their stuff. For now. Go watch their stuff after this. If you want to get some great cocktails, uh, some of them are original, some of them, and he, he's one of these guys, he's not a professional bartender, but he like, he's a bartender, he's a bar nerd. He's a cocktail nerd. He has, he has all these great stories and histories of every drink he makes. It's fantastic. So we are going to make this. It is loosely based on the hanky panky. Yes. Um, in his, uh, he uses two dashes of Frenette Branca to give a little bitter kick Which to it. Which Maria Sol said is the, the, the drink of her people. Frenette Branca, yes. Oh, the a, song, sorry, the song of her people. The song of her people of is her Frenette people. Branca, which it, after you've had some Frenette Branca, a lot, easy, lot easier to sing. Um, but so what we're going to do is we're going to make this uh, now. Um, now, we, I'm very excited because... Uh, we're go we, we, we now, we've added a new cam. Okay, so what would you like first, ingredients or? So, well, we can do ingredients on either. I have it so it shows on oh, both. So if you push me. it on one, it's gonna show on both, but don't do anything oh. yet. So I'm just gonna go through it. So what we're gonna use for this drink, actually hit the ingredients now, might as well. Um, uh -huh. the, the base spirit of this is going to be some sweet vermouth. Um, this is not a great sweet vermouth, but it is a sweet vermouth. We're going to use that. Uh, if you got anything better, good on you. Uh, to go along with this, uh, normally in a hanky panky, it'd be two parts sweet vermouth to uh, one part gin. Mm -hmm. um, we're our equal, uh, and we're going to so we're going to still keep that in there. But what he did to make his a swanky drink, and since. It's talked about in the show that it's a, um, a, a prohibition, prohibition uh, speakeasy. We're going to add a little rye, which is probably one of the more common speakeasy uh, spirits. There are, are, are prohibition spirits there are. And now to give it a little uh, bitter kick, we're going to add a little Suze. Normally it would be Frenette Branca, but this is nice. This is a nice Genetian uh, liqueur. It's a very, very bitter. It will add a really neat flavor Suze. to it. And then, of course, we're going to just garnish with an orange twist. So, uh, all of that in place. Let's move to the overhead cam. Are you ready? Ready? Are you ready? Ready? I, I don't know. Go. Hi there. How are you? All right. We have now, whatever place, we still have the fly cam. But we are going to go with this overhead cam. You should be able to still see us in the corner. We're over here. And then you see the whole thing it's going to make on right here. So we're going to start off. This is a stirred drink. I can still see. Yes, this is a stirred drink. So we're still going to make it here. So into this, we're going to start with our base spirit, which is two parts or two ounces of sweet vermouth. And we're making two. 
two of them today, so we're going to do two of those parts. Whose voice is weird? Oh, is that my voice is weird? The voice is weird on that one? Oh, hang on. Hang on a second. Let me fix that. And audio properties. Uh, overhead. That should fix it. There we are. How was that? That's going to say better. I think that might fix it. I think this is the same problem we had last time. Uh. And I forgot to adjust that. So we have two parts of the sweet vermouth. We are then going to add equal parts of gin. So to two ounces of vermouth, an ounce of gin. This is going to be a very, very boozy drink. This is a very spirit forward drink, as they would say. So glad I ate so much today. <laughs> ah, perfect. And to this, we're going to also add an ounce of rye. So this is four ounces of alcohol before you get Jeez. even get started. And finally, uh, to this, he says two dashes of, of his Branca. So I'm just going to do a really short half ounce, or sorry, quarter ounce of uh, the Suze. If you add that bitter in there. All right, and to that, we're going to just put some ice in the tube. It's splooshy today. It yeah, is very splooshy. Again, when you're uh, mix, when you're stirring a drink, get a lot of ice in there. Um, the more ice, the faster it will chill, and the le so the less it will have to sit in the ice and dilute. So we're just going to put that in there. Let's get this out of the way and bring these in. Like I say, when you're doing the stir, probably about 30 seconds is about good. Oh, sorry, I forgot to do my stirring dance. It's just because I assume no one can see me. Well, go back to the main. Have... Go back to the main. We don't have to stay here. There we go. So there we have it. We are now going to take that and we are going to pour into what would normally be a chilled coupe. Oops. Nothing about today was chilled. Ah, I see what you did there. Ooh, quite a bit. Let me grab me another coop and I'm going to get some to Lou here. And we're going to garnish this with just a little bit. This is just an, a simple orange twist. I like to do sort of a shorter orange twist. Oops, that is very rocky. So with this, I'm going to do, oh, that's, that was terrible. That one is horrible. Nope. This one. Must have teeth for a girl dream. There we go. And finally, she'll get the good twist. There we are. There we go. Stay so twisty. Um, Enjoy. Oh. <laughs> there we are. That is the swanky panky. Look at that drink. That is so beautiful. I love these glasses. These glasses are gorgeous. If you haven't seen this, it's called the Montreal Coupe. I think we used those before, didn't we? Hmm? We may have. Oh. There we there's go. Very, there's trade plants. Cheers to you, Luke. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's really nice. That is very nice, but... It's very man. It's got a, it's a very Manhattan kind of flavor to it. That little bit of bitter from the Sioux. But the vermouth, um, because it almost gives it a chocolatey. Yeah, the vermouth is that. Forty kind of. Yeah, when well, you have that sort of. Ah, that is that's really nice. I like you like. That's a tasty that's really beverage. Nice. Congrats. Mmm. Swanky panky. You done good, kid. If you have Frenette Branca, use fr Frenette. I keep calling it Frenette. Frenette Branca. Use the Frenette Branca instead of that. Um, but if not, uh, something like Sue's will do well. Um, you can also just even use a bitters if you want to just use like an Angostura or Peixo. Peixo would be really good because of the burnt orange mm -hmm. or the bitter orange element. Mm -hmm. um, but also I would say if you could, you could also just go a little sweeter. You can go into like a Campari or a uh, even an Aperol would, would give you so, uh, that, that sort of uh, flavor. 
It makes you do this. Yeah, Aperol would still be a little sweeter. Can probably, uh, can probably be sweeter. Aperol will be sweeter yet, but you'd still have that bitter edge with a little bit of the orange. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I really like that. I really like that. And I think the Suze really makes it quite a yummy thing. Shall we ask some questions? Why are you, you, you you're yelling? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yell. I'm very excited. That was a good drink. I wasn't um, wasn't sure what that would be like, but yeah. It how out. to drink. Check, check out how to, how to drink. See how they do it. Mmm, I like that. Um, yes. We love you when you guys get involved. Every week we have questions. And this week I want to do a little bit of questions that were about Bob's Burgers. A little bit of questions that were about burgers in general. Uh, so first of all, I guess... There's got to be a few people here who are Bob's Burgers fans like we are. Um, hopefully there are people who are just Bob's Burgers fans and didn't know we existed until they, they saw us. Hi. Um, so with today's que first question, I think it's a really simple question. Who is your favorite character on Bob's Burgers? For me, this is... I, I love... the. It's, it's so funny because every time I watch it, my character of choice will always change. Mm -hmm. But I think I always come back to Gene. Because Gene, I, I identify with Gene in so many ways. <laughs> he's artistic. He's, he doesn't care what anybody has to say or think about him. And also is maybe a little oblivious to the things he should care about. And that's sort of how I feel. But then I also identify a lot with Louise because of the pure and abject chaos that she is. See, and I identify a lot with Louise for that reason as well, but Tina. Tina? You're Tina? Why Tina? Because it's just That's, so that's also very surprising to me. Bearably awkward and... Like, I love Louise. Yeah. Like, it's a toss-up. It really is. And I think it depends on the what kind of day I'm having and what kind of, like, El Diablo I feel like. Like, um, you know. I, what I but love there's about... something about Tina's just, like, the twerking. like The twerking. And the, and the just the boys. It just makes me laugh so hard. And it's, it's so ridiculous. It's the most and... odd version of a teenage girl I've ever seen portrayed. Because there are times when I feel like you're they're writing for somebody who's about nine. But then there are times when there, it's very clearly she's probably about 15. I don't know. I just like her. She's just <laughs> hilarious. Do you watch the show? Who's your favorite character? Uh, lots of between Tina and Linda. Tina and Linda. Why Linda? Because uh, she should be in the only one character. Should be. <laughs> and her voice, like, it's, it's, it's so great. That, that Linda voice? Oh, Bob! <laughs> <laughs> she does. They're all better off for because of Linda. Yeah. 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 No. Tina, like, I agree, but I think being a teenage girl is kind of like being 15 and 9. Mm -hmm. It is. That's it, fair. And uh, her commitment to butts always. <laughs> her commitment to butts. Yeah. Uh, let's see what you guys have to say. Let me take a gander over here. Let's yeah, you go. Take a gander. I just need to grab one. You thing. go with that. Bum uh, bum 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 bum. Obviously, Mouton twenty nine, which I believe is Sean. Oh no, it's that's no. Uh, it's, uh, Joe. Sorry. Joe uh, says Bob forever. <laughs> Obvi Bob forever. Obvi, Obvi Bob, of course, was my nickname in high school. Uh, Audrey Ivory says Linda and Louise. Oh, I like a good Linda and Louise sandwich. Why uh, did that make that, you feel you know, weird? But it's like. You know what I mean? Just when they're both on. I love when Linda and Louise play off of each other. They're funny. Um, uh, whoever Bob is, Bob forever. That's Thank you, Margarita, Margarita? for committing yep. to the concept. Whether or not you know the answer. That's fantastic. <laughs> uh, oh, there's there's so many more. So many. Can't pick a Me too. I change to. Can't pick a favorite. Um... Oh. Audrey loves Tina. Where's the love, love for Gail? Gail is also. Oh, Bob. I don't know. I love Gail. Ooh, it's um. It's um. What's uh, Megan? Mullally. No? Megan Mullally plays yeah. Tina. Uh, uh, no, Gail. 
Tra- Gail. Gail. Yeah. She is amazing. Well, she's a Absolutely really talented amazing. human being. Yeah. If you didn't get a chance to actually watch, they did a, a really fun panel uh, for Comic-Con this year that yeah. you can watch on YouTube. It's fun. And a couple of, they've done a few different uh, readings, um, table readings. Mm-hmm. Some, I think they did a couple f- during the COVID thing that where there were people are doing the Zoom ones. During the, the COVID. Yeah. The COVID. The COVID thing. I, it wasn't the COVID. It was the COVID thing. Oh, okay. I was I was articling thing, not COVID. Understood. Pardon me. You don't make me article you. <laughs> I the don't Shauna. know what that means. <laughs> the Shauna. <laughs> <laughs> Right, the L, the L. Misty <laughs> loves Louise because she's so wild, but depends on the story. And Tina's so fun too. So yeah, Bob is so sweet. Ah, uh, ah, uh, 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 who can choose? Who can choose? That's hard. Um, he say. Where are we at? Oh, you're gonna make some pickles. I'm gonna fry some pickles. So like, what do you? You need some? Uh, I'll get that over there. I need uh, this scenario. Yeah. Let me uh, get some things choo, over here choo, for you. Choo, 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 choo. Coming in. All right, so we're doing the thing, friend. I am committing pickle sacrilege. (laughs) Pickle sacrilege? Yes, and if like the Pope did. And different pickle sacrilege. Um, So I know that our recipe uh, or the ingredients that we popped Mm. up online said to grab yourself a jar of pickles. I'm not frying a jar of pickles, possibly because there was not a full jar of pickles left in the house to fry because. There's the ingredients for this um, whole thing. So, yeah. And because we're not using massive, um, I just memed myself, massive pickles, our chips are kind of, they're kind of small. Little pickle chips. They're little pickle chips. But I think it's okay. Uh, and like this guy over here was meant for eating. Why don't we do uh, one of these so they can see what you got here? So, oh, look, that's not right. No, it's not. <laughs> it's frozen. So but my hands look surprisingly like your hands. Yeah, it's, it's odd. Okay, well, I'll come back to here for a second, That's and then cool. I'll figure out what's going on there. It's all good. We're just going to cut these into discs or chips, if you want. And oh, there's many a noise happening over there. <laughs> I know. Um, we're just going to take some paper towels, some Scott towel, or if you guys have non-environmentally bad reusable cotton kitchen towels. You can use that too. I'm going to eat half of these before I even cook them. And we're just going to like take a little bit of the wet out of your pickles. The wet, yes. Sorry, yeah? go up. You're going up? Going up. Oh, that's why. What's going on? It's dead? There are so many cameras now. So it's crazy. See, these little guys I can eat because they're not going to fry well because I know so much about frying pickles. Um, I'm just getting these on the paper towel or the kitchen towel, whatever. And we're just going to apply a wee bit of pressure and take out some of the moisture. That's moisture from my English speaking friends. Yes. Can it be moist about it? I don't think we have to have that conversation. Cool. Yeah? Awesome. We have a bowl. Into the bowl, we are putting a third of a cup of... Here, I'll get the ingredients up for you, too. Um, Watch me go. Doing all the things. We've got a third of a cup of flour. We have a third of a cup of cornmeal. Stick that in there. We are going to grab... I feel like you're like doing renovations while I'm, while I'm, Dan's up on a ladder for those of you uh, who are wondering. We're going to put in a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. And for those of us who like it hot, a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Now, if you don't like it so hot, don't put in a teaspoon. Yeah. C'est assez simple, les amis. I'm just going to grab this. We're just going to give this a little bit of a stir. You could whisk it if you want. Use a fork. You can get in there with your fingers. I am not the boss of you. It's fully weird that you're up here. (laughs) Um, 
especially because now I don't have a fly cam either. So oh, okay. that's that's kind of what that looks yeah. like. You guys can't necessarily see it so well, but it's mealy, right? Because because that's that. So we've got some battery stuff there. Egg bowl. I didn't do such a good job there. We're gonna get that in there. We're gonna give this like a little of a whiskey here. I am so terrified that that's just gonna fall down and hit me in the head. Me too. Good to know. <laughs> or that all of a sudden Dan's just gonna come crashing into me, a la Dave Matthews. Um, Alrighty, tidies. That's beaten. That's mixed. What are you? Excuse me. Excuse me, lady. I'm here to fix the camera. Yeah, I get it. Hey, but, you lady. know, we were doing just fine we're just before. Just doing fine you know? without you. But there we are. I'm hoping that this will work now. Good. Can it, now that it's all done. <laughs> now we're in the wrong place. It's over here. We just need to bring oh, it. Oh, I can fix this. Oi, oi, friends. All right. I'm just gonna grab a frying pan. I was going to pass that job off to someone else, but clearly no. <laughs> Those uh, are my arms. There you are. We're <laughs> fixing you. We're fixing you on the fly. I'm sorry Oy. about this, but here we go. Look at that. All right. Y'all know how much I love this machine. So we're going to get it. I'm going to turn it way down because I still have to bread these guys and we don't want to be taking oil in the face, right? Right. There we are. Okay. Sorry about that. That's fine. Okay. I have my padded down pickles here. Now you're padded down. Ready I'll to go. I came in that one just to make that one work. I'm just gonna grab. Oh, Dana's here. Hello, Dana. A petit assiette. I can't believe I'm about to do this. You are seeing this pickle sacrilege live. I'm dipping one pickle into the egg wash, which is really just a beaten egg over. into the thingy. That's what we call batter in this house. The thingy? The thingy. And ta-da. We, we have one wet hand. Oh, this one I can do from over here. I thought you were going into there. And so one dry hand makes for an easier scenario here. Tell us what you like. Do you like this this over, overhead thing? Just trying, let me know because I because he's feeling insecure about he's his, his about insecure his about his overhead. about his overhead. How does it look? Does it look at all over there? Oh, it looks very interesting. We have so many screens going right now. Wet fingers, dry fingers. You like a mealy. Just trying to get these coated, like nicely coated. Again, I, I I believe I'm committing severe pickle adultery here, but like it's 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 okay. Sometimes we have to my play. My mother said my mind is off. I don't know what that means. It's, does she mean maybe your? Really does she mean it's maybe your mic is off my or mic my is mic off. is off? Is that? Right. She is right. My mic is off. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, here we are. Thanks, My Mom. mind is back on. <laughs> uh, yes, my mic was off. I, I turned it off so I could scale the scaffolding. All the right. one thing of having the overhead up to do scaffolding, figure it out. All right, sorry. You're fine. I'm just, I'm just distracting people with your with with, with your chatter of scaffolding. My scaffold chatter. All your scaffolding chatter. It's all right. You, you've seen me do this at least six, seven times now. They, I think they've got the general idea. How many pickles are you doing per burger? Well, see, here's the deal. And um, we're only going to make, despite the fact that we are three people in yeah. this uh, current, in our studio space tonight, no, studio. Um, I am only making two burgers tonight. Two burgers. Because um, we have other food in the fridge for later. So I figured you and I could 
share a burger. Yes. Because we're that, good like that. And so I guess I'm doing about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 ladybugs at Ladybug Picnic. Um, you have to be right for that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I sang it very badly and off-key. You just lost our monetization. No, no, no. I sang it very off-key. Nobody knows what I'm talking about. The Sesame Street people are fine. Um, <laughs> They're no Bob's Burgers people, though, let me tell you. Yeah. But, um, and Lauren Bouchard, top drawer guy, that is. You, know, you know this. Uh, I've seen many interviews. For facts, one, two, three. I'm, my, four, I'm, six, I'm nine, assessing nine, my opinion nine, through through popular media. I dig it. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do about six of these per burger. I think six that's per burger is a lot. So it's a very pickly burger. It's pretty pick. Well, it's called pickle my funny bones. So I kind of fit. and considering that for four burgers, yeah. the recipe called for an entire jar of pickles. Now, what I would also love for you to do for me, mm -hmm. my darling, is yes, to baby. grab me the thermometer so I can get this oil up oh, to oil the, the correct temperature. Yeah. Oh, really? So as to make beautiful fried pickles. I'm, I, I, I lied to you guys. I, I'm just, I'm still going. This is what I do. I just once. Why? Because it is here. Uh -huh. We turn it up. Yeah, if we can turn it up now. If you go to this, you can set the actual temperature. What do you want it to be? 350, at? please. Your oil. Should be at 350. Now, if you are using an air fryer, I will say this. I'm, I've am i never air fried pickles because I've never seen like it necessary pickles. to fry yeah. pickles. Um, with the air fryer and coating, I think there's a certain, um, you know, if you, do, if you do an egg wash on the outside, that's normally pretty good. Or if you do a little spritz spritz with mm -hmm. some spray olive oil, that's normally pretty good. Something like this that has a pretty intense... Uh, coating with cornmeal. Um, I don't know, try it out, but it might need some kind of spray oil on it so that it... it oh, this it, is also one batter. You could do a variety of Oh, of course, yeah. of course. This is this, But I'm, I'm keeping true to the recipe, the recipe I found in the, the burger yeah, yeah. book. In the burger. In the burger. Yeah. So we're going to hide these over here, just in case we want to make more of them later. There not enough real oil in here today. Okay. Yes, what would you like? Stop stirring. <laughs> <laughs> This is hard, easier to do in a deeper pot. It is. I can flip it over into a deeper pot. Well, it's too late now. Man, Why? As well, because we we're running out of time. We only have so much time. I understand, but I can but this is put the be, hot What's oil. nice about this is you're going to set it to 360. That's going to bring that temperature up to 360. You don't have to worry about it. I'm not worried about it. You I just, just meant... I just meant that you're probably right. I should have picked it deeper because of the, the smallness of what I'm frying. Yeah. So if you want, no, well, pass me a... Don't. You're good. You're totally good. No, but they should... But it's, I'm just saying... Pass me more oil, please. Well, no, they but should... The more oil you put in, the longer it's going to take to heat up. Keeps taking longer, right? What do I know? I make cocktails. <laughs> no, it's not that. It's that... They should be submerged, I think, if, if we're if we're gonna do you the know, thing. Like fried chicken. You can I'm gonna fly flip, flip them. I can fly and flip them. Like fried chicken. Like fly chicken. chicken. I'm gonna fly, flip them. Danny is quiet for once. Go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just pulled the thing out of my microphone. There we are. Sorry, Enjoy I think, I think the that that silence. Came out. Um, there we are. I don't know. I also did just sort of mumble for the end. Did you just sort of mumble? Oh. Why are you doing a dick to me? Oh, I did. Oh, <laughs> algorithms. Richard is my middle name. I'm going to just, it's getting, a, it's, stuff is happening in there. You had the mouvement. There's a little shimmer going on. I don't know where that, oh, here it is. We're just going to take a little quick. Oil test here. We well, can always dip one in if it starts to bubble. Then I know, you know I was, to but I wasn't going to waste one because I wasn't making so so many of them. But you know what? Screw it. Exactamundo. Oh, that looks perfect. 
gonna get the fly cam in there and get people to see what why it's so perfect. Food you make is always lovely. The food I make is always lovely. Thank you. Yeah. Flying in. I can't use the overhead because it's just out of shot. There we go. Still can't hear me. I don't know why. Hmm. Hold on. Excuse me. Oh, I don't know Excuse why. Alright, let me get that out of there. Why the hell can't you hear me? Darling, can you pass me some paper yeah. towel when you're over there, please? Yes, what? paper towel. Yes, paper right towel. there. Paper towel. Thank you, just for these. Your fly cam is everyone's seeing right now. Uh, oh, sorry, baby. That's fine. I don't know it's I... fine. Sorry, friends. Dan was more concerned about his microphone than your, your, your viewing pleasure. Going to give these a little bit of a turn because I didn't put a ton of oil in here. All right. See, it's funny to me because I love fried food, as you all know, and I love pickles, but the smell of fried pickles is confusing my nose. Like it's, it's, it's got, like it's really, I guess because we took a lot of the, the pickle juice out, it's releasing pickle juiciness, but there's also like a fry oil smell to it. There I, we go. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But the bonus with cooking is you try the thing, right? And... If we you don't love it, you don't do it again. That's it. That's all. You don't. You're not marrying it. Lovely, it. You're not. You're not running off to Vegas with it. It's. It's just a fried pickle. There you are. So I figured it out. My channel was. My it, channel was you, off. Uh, you had your channels. My all, channels were cross. All cross. Those look lovely, though. I think. They look great. I think I'm gonna give them like a few more seconds what while I have a quick sip of my cocktail. Get people in there so they can see what's going on here in the. The lovely world of fried pickles. I probably pickles. could have double battered them, to be honest. Um, but I'm also a big fan of trying to not be such a. I love these. I think they look great. The I think those look really lovely. Well, Let's bring the overhead in there so people can see that. I'm just gonna turn it down again. It's a hot pickle. I don't. I don't know. I, don't I like this know. overhead cam. Just goes right down your top every time you want. <laughs> <laughs> you should not have told me that. Ah. Hi, how are you, Guerrero I one four Eames? Hi there. How are you two? We're we great. Thank you very much. Fried we're, pickles. we're making some fried pickles. How are you? It's a thing. So there we have. So are you are, are you all fans of the fried pickle? You know, talk I to love me fried tell pickles. Me, tell me how you feel. Let me move that other way. I know that there's a restaurant. Uh, I can't remember which one. It's a Montreal restaurant that does like fried Kool Aid pickles or some oh. some oh. like ridiculousness of that variety. Cool pickles. I don't know. I don't know. I love a good Kool I don't know. I think this is just... Kool Aid pickles and fried pickles are generally a little different though. No, but there were fried Kool Aid pickles. Really? Yes, yes. I believe. Have uh, you had the Kool Aid though? No, I have not had the cool pickle. It's I, really I, good. No, pickle. Quite final. I know, but you. But again, saying that, you really you like dill pickles of all the pickles, and you don't really eat any of the pickles. Well, so I, you start I to say like pickles. A, well, no, I will eat pickled things, but like, no, I'm I'm a heap man. A good deli style putters pickle, like a. Jewish I'm never gonna turn down. Do you know garlic. what my favorite pickle though? So my mother used to make uh, mustard pickles. Mm -hmm. it's still the greatest pickle in the world. I know this because he talks about them all the time. So, you know, great next pickle. birthday, you can make some mustard pickles. That was, they're amazing. I remember being like six years old and like going into my mother's canning and just eating an entire jar. I ate so many pickles once at Gibby's that I made myself sick when I was a kid. Because at Gibby's you used to get, you'd sit down for your steak dinner and they would put like... Baron does not like pickles, point final. Bon, ben. Je ne sais pas si on, on peut être... We're making. Just you don't a, like a lot of things for eating, Baron. <laughs> you don't like mayo and creamy stuff. You don't like pickles. Qu'est-ce que tu manges, mon mon fils? Well, we're getting some really lovely comments, compliments on our kitchen. Thank you oh, very thank much. You. Uh, today, just for the people who just dropped in from Twitch, we're making uh, one of Bob's burgers. We're making the uh, pickle my funny bone. Pickle my funny bone. And some Bob Bur Bob's burgers cocktails. Indeed, we are. 
And if you're just joining us for the first time, I always feel the need to say this because people on Twitch get confused sometimes. We are live, but that does not mean that we won't cut to canned segments. We have canned segments. So we're getting a little bit of both. You get us some... live and like in living color and then, you know, some other shit that... I think, now that we have pickles, Yeah. I think we need to cut away to... To... Oh, no, we're doing this. Oh, oh yes, we, we got to go it. see. We should go see Chef Duyen. We should go see now Chef Duyen. Now that we have pickles, I am fascinated to see because, let's put it this way. If you haven't seen our show before, we had the, uh, the amazing uh, uh, luck to be friends with one of the greatest chefs on the planet Earth. Perhaps the planet Venus as well. Um, though I have not been. And Next year. every week he comes on our show. I'm very excited. And every week he has let me down. Oh, Save so two mean. weeks. One week where he came and made caramel pork and decided not to do what he usually does. Mm -hmm. But every other week he's made something made of jello. Last week he made jello sazer eggs. He did make jello sazer eggs. And they were incredible. He also, uh, he, he, Came directly from my heart and made uh, THC Jello a couple of weeks ago. THC, made some weed uh, Jello, weed Jello gummy bears, which were the bomb, and got me plenty silly. Yes. So I have no idea how Chef Duyan has managed to turn Thai Jello into Bob's Burgers. Into Bob's Burgers, but Wait. I think it's time we find out. So let me give you one of the yeah that run. Let me give you the magical earpiece of information. Magical earpiece of information. Go and meet the amazing Chef Duyan. Hey, Chef Duyan. Chef Duyan, are you there? Chef Duyan. Chef Duyan. Uh, the Skype is going weird again. Oh. Uh, somebody asked. Hey, Chef Duyan, are you there? Hello. Hey, there he I am there, but I don't hear you. You can't hear us. I'm going to fix that for you, Chef Duyan. Yes, I'm going to fix that for you in two I seconds, Chef Duyan. Hey, Chef Duyan, are you there? Hey. Of course, on parle français. On est ici à Montréal. I have no sound. Have no here sound. we go. Here we go. Here we go. We hear you. There we go. How are that now, Chef Dian? Can you hear us now, Chef Dian? Hello. Hello. How are you? Can you hear us? Yes. I Yay! Ah, success. It's good to see you. You look uh, like Jean, uh. like the Jean in our video. Thank you for uh, helping us out with our <laughs> promo this week, Chef Duyen. That was really fun. That was really was fun. Good to I see had you. a great time. We'll make a star out of you yeah. yet. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know this week was Bob's Burgers. Yes, I do. And how, and dare, I, I'm almost terrified to know the answer, did you decide to pair this with your favorite ingredient, Jello? Yes. I have. So this week we're doing cheeseburger jello. Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger jello. Cheeseburger jello. You'll see. It's going to be very interesting. Okay. First thing with cheeseburger jello is a cheeseburger. <laughs> of course. Why would you not have a cheeseburger? Oh my goodness. Pour le vrai. Cheeseburger from your local burger provider, whatever it is. Ah. So we have a cheeseburger right here. Then we need. Gelatin. So first thing first, uh, what I did before I got onto camera, I created, uh, I made a bit of a gelatin water, yep. just to touch the bottom of the my content. Uh -huh. And then I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna use about uh, 400 millimeter of water uh -huh. and add more gelatin. Okay. I'm so intrigued. I am so, it, it's like. This could go so oh, many ways. You're going to love this. You're going to love this, I'm sure. Okay. Yeah, gelatine to the water, and I'm going to mix it. So I'll stir it till all the gelatine is all dissolved. Mm -hmm. You're crazy. Okay. Stir crazy. Yeah. yeah. Stir, 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 stir. Yeah. It's going to take about a minute. It does take about a minute. Or four hours, you know, whatever. No, 
That's what I want. There we go. All right. So now, when the gelatine water is ready, I'm going to take the cheeseburger mm -hmm. and a continent, like a plastic Container. continent. I'm going to take the cheeseburger. Yep. Stuff it. Stuff in. What is inside. <laughs> then, we're going to take our gelatine water and we're going to put it in carefully so it fills the whole thing. What? Am there I we watching? go. Uh, some people call that aspic. Oh, you're making a cheeseburger aspic. A cheeseburger aspic. A brilliant idea. So you put it in there, and then you stuck it in the fridge for about 10 minutes to 4 hours, and you have your cheeseburger gel. Well, I, I can... I cannot wait to come back 10 hours to cannot come fast enough. Chef Diane, uh, thank you for doing something that we were not expecting. Well, it's Bob Burger I Week, so we're doing. Don't burgers. even know what to say. We'll be back later to check on your cheeseburger. For once, I might be the one who's disappointed. What? Yep, that's right. He put a cheeseburger in some gelatin. In some gelatin. <laughs> All I have to say is, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Wow, wow, we wow. I, I, I'm <laughs> fascinated because the best part is, he will eat that. Well, he's going to have to. I, do you know? For the sake of I know, the show. I, I, in all fairness, since we've been working with Chef Diane, he's been going and finding a lot of different Jello recipes, and I'm sure that he doesn't have... He, he didn't have that many recipes at his fingertips when we started, and every week he's. Oh no, we have pushed him to his culinary limit. But really. he, but did we? <laughs> but with this week, have we also brought him to his culinary knees? Culinary knees. New culinary band name. knees. New band name. First album. Ouch. Culinary culinary nephew. No. <laughs> Marguerite liked to say that that was not her thing. What is your thing? <laughs> Speaking of things. Bling, bling. This week, we are going to run a contest. Yes, we are going to run a contest. What, is, what are you winning if you win? The, let me get the book again. You get the book again. If you win this week's contest, you win this wonderful book, the Bob's Burgers Burger Cookbook, which is, right again. Here. Right here. I know, but there's food here, and I don't want it dirty. Real recipe. Oh, but wait, if I lean forward, you get all of the money shot. There you go. But don't make it look like that's part of the contest. You don't get my boobs. <laughs> you get the Bob's Burgers Burger Book. This real, is a funny, I should know. Real recipes for joke burgers. Fly cam this. this is <laughs> I'm trying real hard. Um, yes, you get this. And you also get uh, the last of the Stir Crazy Aprons. There was one left. One left. That is being included. So you will get a lovely, a lovely Stir, Stir Crazy, Crazy apron. apron. Oh, I forgot to put mine on. Anyway. Yep. Um, and a burger press. A burger press. A little burger press. So if you um, don't know how to make burgers um, or you want them to actually, it's really good to do smash burgers. Yep. Um, so it's like a little iron thing. We don't have it here yet. It's on its way. Um, also? Also? Are we doing not? Are we not doing the... Uh... Chill and we part of it? Not today. Not today. Oh, Not okay. Today. I thought we were. No. Nope. My bad. Not a word. Never mind. I know nothing. I am from Barcelona. I speak English good. <laughs> I learn. I learn it. Flame Flame name the TV show. Um, that's not the contest that's question. That's not the contest, but name the TV show. Um, Hadley Graham was watching. She should know. Um, yes. Uh, so, I was doing a bunch of hunting for obscure Bob's Burger questions. Okay. And we're gonna ask a question, we're gonna announce at the end who wins it. So there's gonna, there's gonna be a little bit of a luck portion to this. Yes. And there's gonna a little, little bit of a skill testing question portion to this. So what is the rules? The person who answers in the chat first? No, I think it's the person we find first. So we'll scroll through the chat, the first one we see that got the question right 
Is the person who wins? Yes. All right, so, so it's our rules because it's our show. Yes. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna ask a question. <laughs> yeah. Answer in the chat. It doesn't matter when. It's not the first person. Later on, when we go later on in the show, we come back and find our, our our winner. We'll scroll back through the first person we see that has answered it correctly. That will be our winner. So you have to be fast and right and random. Not necessarily fast because fast, right, and random. That's right. Be random. So the question that we're going to ask. Sorry, I'm right in the boob. Uh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Good. I'm sorry about your boob. Um, <laughs> So the question is, um, what is the name of Tina's imaginary horse? Tina loves horses. Tina does love horses. She loves three things. Horses, Bums. butts, and zombies. Zombie butts especially. But she loves horses. What is the name uh, Yes, you should spam the right answer. You could spam wait. the right answer if you want. What is the name of Tina's imaginary, imaginary horse? horse. Um, answer it whenever you want. And the thing is, you could spam if you want. That'll be uh, fun for almost no one. Um, <laughs> but you could also answer later. You could be going and checking the internet now if you, you want. You could answer every four and a half minutes, set an alarm. Whatever you do you, uh, we'll be here. I'm going to try to pretend this thing has pockets. I keep trying to make pockets where there's Yes. Pockets. Shall we do this now? We're going to do this now? I think, oh yeah. Okay, I'm going to go set up. You set that up. I'm going to be you over here and I'm going to I'm going to talk a little bit about what's what's about to happen. Yeah. Hi. It's me with you. Let's have an intimate moment. Okay. So, uh, a couple of weeks ago, we had Ben Cardilli here because we thought when we started to ease a little bit of the social distancing restrictions and considering that Dan and I really don't venture out into public very often, um, we could have some people here in a safe and socially distant manner to play some tunes, um, which kind of just makes us feel super fun and fancy, first of all, because it's like having a concert in our living room. And also because we know some really, really talented people and it's kind of fun to get to showcase their amazing talents and maybe introduce you to someone that you haven't heard before who you can uh, go and learn more about after you see them on our show. So, are we almost ready? We are ready to go. All right, Whatever let me... Want. I'm going to mute myself. Give me one second. Your artist tonight. I first saw it for the first time ever at Vaudeville at the Wiggle Room, and I was blown away uh, vocally, and she's also a really groovy human. And that's always nice when artists aren't assholes. Um, so yes, without further dudes, the dulcet tones of our living room concert series. To over to right? Yes, I'm going to. With Are we going to fly cam? Yeah, we're going to go fly cam. And... Talking with the stars. Maybe it's just those storms in the sky. But I've been thinking, baby, straight from my thighs now. Maybe it's just your. And right now feel getting to me how in my ears and I'll take off just a just a little sleep if we'll you say that this goodness is mine to keep for now well I'm just worried about now, baby. And 
Somewhere there is a lady in space And she could tell me how it all, how it all will end Somewhere there is a siren at sea Waiting for me to come home Oh, but I'm busy, baby Just a one tongue out of three And we don't know much about the blood of this city But fuck it, baby There's enough blood in you and me You and me Oh, this could be anything We could be anyone We could be any place but it's gotta be just now it's oh it's gotta be I know Ben said the same thing, but we all mean it when we say it. It feels good to have a crowd, no matter the numbers. <laughs> Plus, we're very enthusiastic. Very enthusiastic. <laughs> very enthusiastic. Indeed, indeed. Plus, I know you guys from a venue, so it, it feels like, you know, like the Like the thing. gang's back together yeah. stuff? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally. We're, we're doing the thing? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. you know, we've seen each other in dressing rooms kind of thing. Like, we got the, the you know. Dress, of course. <laughs> of course. I'm always dressed backstage. You know, one eyelash on, one eyelash off. <laughs> you're, you're dangling your, ca your microphone in your, uh, your oh, shirt. There we go. There you and go. Turn. Which one is this one? Oh, this one? Nobody knows. There we go. All right. That was very good. Clap, clap. Why, thank you. Clap, clap. <laughs> clap, clap, clap. Yay. Yay. Hello. So. You know what I'm going to do real quickly because... That was so good. Um, What's the name of the song again? Sorry, what's the name of the song? The song is called Anywhere Just Now. Anywhere Just, Anywhere now. just now. And where can we get find you? You can find me also on YouTube. You can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, on the internet more yes. broadly. Oh, Lou Lawrence. You'll look, find the spelling of the name in the credits at the end. I always you say Laurence see. because uh, Montreal. Is it Lawrence or Laurence? So I actually <laughs> chose the name because I thought it would be easy to pronounce in both English and French. Well, there's a human mistake. What I have discovered <laughs> is that Francophones tend to say, Ah, oui, c'est Lou Lawrence. <laughs> and Anglophones tend to say, Ah, oh, it's Lou Lawrence. <laughs> 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 We're all just trying to be fancy. Yeah, exactly. So no one's go. quite sure where I'm from. So it's, it's whatever you need it to be <laughs> is the answer. You can pronounce it how you would like. Uh, just don't spell it with a W. Okay. No, okay. It's with a U. <laughs> yes, exactly. My, a, like, my actual given not name. Not like Lawrence Ferengetti. Uh, yes. My given name that we don't discuss on the show is also spelt with a U, and it drives me batty when it's spelt with a W. And in the grander scheme of life, it probably doesn't really matter that much. Although some people would probably argue it's a name. Of course it's important. Mm -hmm. But yeah. like, but yeah, I, I dig it. Well, and for, for, We're you sisters. Yeah, exactly. And and for performance, you want people to be able to find you. So the spelling uh, yes, becomes the spelling. important. So, so with the U. <laughs> yes. 
Lou Laurence or Lawrence or yeah. whatever, but yeah. with a U. There you go. <laughs> Very quickly. We're going to make some patties? I'm, but I'm going to do this in a way that I'm just going to scooch behind you. One quick second. Yeah. All good. Um, so here. Overhead? I'm going to, I just need to give a caveat first. Yeah. I have been making burgers. My daddy taught me how to make hamburgers probably when I was like eight or nine years old. Mm -hmm. And I have always made my burgers. With feet. With beef, we no no oh, with okay. beef, but I've always made my burgers also with a binding agent like an egg, oh, okay, and um, some either a little bit of breadcrumb and some seasoning and whatever. Being that we're doing um, a Bob's Burgers episode, and I went through the Bob's Burgers book, mm -hmm. and they are purists on the level of you need meat, yeah, you need salt. You need pepper, basically, or okay. whatever seasoning that you want to use. So keep it really simple. Uh, we're keeping it meaty tonight. I am not putting an egg in here. Normally, if I was doing burgers a la El Diablo, it's like the meeting of the minds. Uh -huh. Ah ha! Um, if I was doing my regular burgers, there would be on the counter right now um, an egg. There would be some breadcrumbs, um, some garlic salt. A little bit of soy, believe it or not, and um, some Frank's Red Hot. I, just, I always normally, use garlic powder in mine. The garlic salt. Garlic, garlic salt's salt a big or one garlic powder, or if you have Lowry's, if you live in the states and you've got that awesome. Uh, no, everybody or Mrs. Dash, any of that kind of stuff. So, what I have in here, the recipe that we put up for you guys, if you could bring that up yes, again. Yes, recipes are coming. It's for four burgers, but again, this is an appetizer for us. So I'm making us two burgers right, it's right now. Right here, you can see it um, right over there. It's over there. Um, I'm gonna. My hands are clean, by the way. Over there. Um, we're just gonna massage Go that over. meat oh, a tiny there, little bit. So that. Make sure it's all smooshy. There we go. That's a shoulder. That's a shoulder. That's a cleavage. Um, <laughs> we're gonna get some salt in there. Uh, that's actually pepper, though. <laughs> yeah, it's a pe I, that drink was freaking strong. Um, <laughs> wow. But, Don't worry. We'll but, make another one right after this. Right after this. So we're just going to get oh, that get in there. So you do that. I'll get and um, divide the meat. We're making two patties. We're just whoop, whoop, catch it with your belly. Knock it back into play. You don't want to overwork your meat. That's what she said. That's what she said. Um, I could expand, but algorithms and, you know, <laughs> people potentially watching with their kids. But in this particular case, we're making burgers. We don't want to beat the meat. We just want to form the patties. We want to, and I'm, I'm very curious to see how this works out. I don't know why I'm yelling. Maybe eat that drink. Um, but I'm, 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 I'm not skeptical. I'm sure it will work. People have, you know, done this for forever, but... I'm very used to using a binding agent and that kind of stuff. So, so do they account for the moisture in some other way, or binding some other way, or are they just... This is, this is it. This is like, make your burger, let it be meaty. So they believe that we've been lied to our life. A little bit. Okay. Because I, bit. I also grew up with the egg, um, and I threw some onions in. Yeah. And, you know. But again, we're trying to be a little bit purist tonight. I respect, um, I respect it. Like, and also part of the reason why I'm only making us two, because I don't 100% necessarily <laughs> agree with this. So part of me is like, yeah, we'll do two. Fair if they're good, we'll do two more. Two. Um, I'm still crazy. We learn together. Well, it, 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 and again, I say this all the time. A lot of the people who are watching know me from burlesque, and some of you have taken class with me. I am... I'm a firm believer, especially in the kitchen, mistakes sometimes are where the magic happens. Um, and the worst thing that's going to happen, like, yes, the food wastage and food waste and all of that is not great, but the worst thing that's going to happen is it's not going to be as tasty. Um, I'm saying that because I don't want anyone to, like, accidentally burn down the house. That's the worst thing that could happen. <laughs> but um, the worst thing that's going to happen is it doesn't taste exactly how you want it or it doesn't turn out exactly how you want it, and you can try it again. And no harm, no foul, right? So we have our patties here. Um, you're you're doing. Um, I was just getting stuff ready. Getting for... some stuff ready to make some more uh, cocktails. Yeah, that's what I was. That's what that's I was doing. That's perfect. So what I'm going to do very quickly is just take these patties out of your way, so you can okay. come back in here with. Oh, I'll come in there with a drink. Come in there with a drink. All right. Let's do a swoopsy swapsy. Swoopsy swoopsky swapsy. <laughs> I wasn't quite ready, but you, if you can just kill some time for a second, I can. I, I will grab I the last that. thing that I need to you do. You do that. Here. I'll do this. Look, everybody's working together. Lou's doing a dance. Do a little dance. 
Yeah. Oh, Make that's it in the sink. And wash your hands. All right. And wash your hands. So we're going to make. So much going on all of a sudden. Oh, they're going to make the drink now. We've got a drink here. So let's clear some of your stuff out of here. You clear my stuff. Because I'm gonna clear I myself. like a clean workspace, said uh, someone okay. once. Great. <laughs> I'm just going to clear out all together, leave you two for a second. All time. right. So we're going to make a drink. You don't have to hang out back there. Come <laughs> hang out with me. We're going to need a little bit of a cutting surface. Okay. This is the, yeah, we're going to go, I'm going to, here, let's do this. Here, I can go this way. Well, All right, you ready? Is. We're going to go, this we're going to make is the horse medicine. Now, the horse medicine showed up in, uh, let me see, I have that written down here. Horse medicine shows up in season three, episode 17, The Equestronauts, where uh, Tina is a big fan of the Equestronauts, which, of course, their version of My Little Pony. Mm -hmm. And she goes to a, uh, a little deal. She ends up uh, getting her, her horse doll purchased with, by somebody who realized its value. And Bob decides to infiltrate these people. What's clicking over there? You're... Your fly oh, can you take me the fly? Give me the fly cam. Don't just it, leave it sitting but there. It, no, but it's like it's alive. It's very I know, creepy. But that's, but that's also heating up the battery and making it well, uh, I didn't, burn out. I didn't leave it there, did I, love? I know, but that's why I said give it to me. Um, Number five is alive. Sorry. <laughs> so, they, Bob goes to the Equestronauts. He infiltrates. He has to learn everything he can about them. And he infiltrates the Equestronauts and he goes to their their sort of greet, meet and greet, and they drink this drink called horse medicine. Now, the only thing we ever see about the horse medicine is that it's this almost fluorescent green cocktail. And uh, I, I was watching that was the... My yeah, piece. I know. So I was watching the How to Drink pod, uh, 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 YouTube channel, and he made one as well. He made it with Applejack, and his instinct was, well, what, a horse, what would a horse want to eat, drink? And the first thing that came up was apples. Horses. So he paired it with, uh, um, what did he, he paired it with, uh, oh, um, Midori. Midori. Ooh. So melon and green apple. Mm -hmm. So the Midori is very green. And then the apple jack, which is brown, so it's giving that green color. Now, I absolutely hate Midori. On a scale so of sick. one to a bag of sugar, how sweet is Midori? Midori is very sweet. But it's also melon. I'm not a big melon person. So. I got really sick on it when I was like 16. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so oh, exactly. it's one of those <laughs> things. So I, I was trying to figure out what to do. So I want to do my own variation. Um, and while I was shopping, I came across this, which is Marie Brizard's uh, green apple syrup, which, as you can see, is a beautiful. I'm just going to go over here. Oh. Is this beautiful green? This is the color of the syrup. Now, I you can make a green apple syrup that isn't this color. This is this is colored to hell, but it's going to make a great horse medicine. So we're using that not only for some flavor, but also for a little bit of color. This is going to have a very. You ever had the green uh, Jolly Ranchers? Yes. This is going to be very very reminiscent of this. So I tried a few different variations of this out. I did it with gin. Uh, I did it with uh, a couple other things. Uh, I did it, but I found that the gin was too juniper-y, and I was I was trying it with gin, and I thought limoncello might be interesting, but it ended up being too sweet. So I played around, and I found something that I really liked. So the first thing we're going to start off with, if you want, where am I? Oh, there I am. So I'm going to bring this up. I can, so, I can help. I oh, you want to do that? Here you go. Oh, Here, I saw you, you doing you all, all your tech. What do you want me to do? Hit the ingredient. Hit the, 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 there you are. Hit the. So we're going to start off Hi. with this. So the thing I wanted, first of all, is to have a, the most neutral of spirits, which of course is vodka. So this is a vodka drink. Very hard to find vodka. <laughs> this is very distracting. But cool. it's like a rocking horse. But I won't give you I won't give you a drink <laughs> if you keep good. doing it. Okay. It's true. We want our drinks. Um, we'll behave. So we're gonna make uh, start with vodka. Uh, any vodka will do. We're doing Tito's. I like Tito's. It's lovely. Uh, to that, we're gonna mix it with a little bit of uh, green apple syrup, which would almost be uh, an apple martini. Mm -hmm. But I felt that that wasn't enough. We added a little bit of lemon juice to add some citrus. So we're basically making, like we learned last week, a basic sour. Yes. A little bit of sweet, 
a little bit of sour. I like that you're recalling spirit. the lesson. I know it's a lesson. So this is good. Um, but when I tried that, I still felt it was sort of a little bit of sugar and too much neutral. So what I found was amazing was we're going to add a little mezcal to this. <laughs> Mescal is going to give it this sort of smoky flavor, a little bit of a, a, a umami quality to it. So you're going to get that. One of my absolute, probably my absolute favorite dessert in the world is apple pie with cheddar cheese. Yes. If you like that, you're going to like this because it's going to give you that sort of savory note into this sweet. So you're going to, it's still, it's a sweet drink, but it's going to have that smoke, that smoke into it. And then to top it off, a little bit of uh, pecho for the burnt orange in there. You're both so tall. I'm very aware of the fact that I am so weak. So let's. Oh, I need my. Can I just say a uh, shout out to my mother who will eventually be watching this, but she's not right now. <laughs> Her family is very, very strict on the apple pie with cheddar cheese. Oh yeah, it's it's, it's, a it's a mandatory. Line to me, it's a mandatory <laughs> thing. Well, I'm a. I see. All as, right. as Canadian as I am, I'm a, like an apple pie and 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 vanilla ice cream. Oh no, no 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 no. It makes no. it very complicated if you offer to help my grandmother serve dessert. Yeah. Uh, because you either get cheese or ice cream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But most, oh, most of you? the aunts and uncles go for I'm, the all dress, which means ice cream and cheddar cheese and pumpkin pie over your apple. You could have asked me. I know, but you were talking, so I did this. <laughs> so we're going to start off with an ounce and three quarters of, we're going to bring that up one more time, uh, an ounce and three quarters of, of vodka. Since we're making three of them, we're going to do that three times. Boop. Now, uh, we're going to add the mezcal next. We're not going to, we don't want a ton of mezcal. We want just that, a hint of that flavor. So we're going to add half an ounce of mezcal. And again, I always like to do three. When I'm making multiple drinks, I know it takes longer, but just in my head, I get it done right. So we get the, the vodka, the mezcal. We are going to add, now this is where it seems a little weird. We're going to add a full ounce per drink of this green syrup or uh, well between three quarters i like feel just a little bit more than three quarters is needed to really maintain that apple -y flavor i do love these marie brazard syrups because they come with the proper pour spout built right in is she local yeah um no, we she's so. not local but she, uh, no it's france france Porto, france but uh, not only do they do syrups, but they do spirits as well. So I've done banana liqueurs, I've done curacaos from them, stuff like that. Um, now, to that, we're going to add a little bit of sour. We don't want a ton. We're going to add a half an ounce of lemon juice, fresh lemon juice. This was just squeezed right before the show. With Put my into thighs. a bottle. Lovely. And finally, <laughs> to give that just a hint of bitter, we're going to add three, well, one dash. Per drink of Peixo. Can you grab me the ice, please? Yes, sir. Um, oh, there we go. We're gonna take, we're gonna fill, and can you grab me the, uh, yeah, that's perfect. So we're gonna fill our shaker with ice. I the goodest assistant. <laughs> and we're gonna put them in, uh, you ice into our glasses. Wow, that's boom. A lot of ice today. A lot of ice we used. All right, so now that's done, we are going to pour that in. Oop, that is so I'm gonna find that that one is a little tight, so I'm just gonna quickly grab that. There we go. Now do you take it in? Little bang one. Shaker dance. Double shaker dance. This is a first. You've seen it. Sir yeah, crazy. Yeah, baby. All right. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's singing for Amazing. our summer. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. You were so both right on that. All right. So we this are going getting creative to, over there. <laughs> we're going to double strain this because again, anything with a little bit of citrus. Misty's working for it. Just letting you know, Baron. Oh, this is 
Oh, that green. one. No, well, I didn't finish it. I, I, I think I poured, I shared that off wrong. So I'm going to do one of these. There we go. And then we'll, we'll even them out. That's there. That's perfect. Sharing is caring. There we go. And now just, I like to do just a. <laughs> this is killing me. Okay. Sorry, here's that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just a little bit of that. And is this for the flavor or the color? That That's for the color. A poquito the column A. And a finally, the column B. to garnish, Fried I'm going to take a... Try to get that back in better. I want to get it thin. I keep doing it wrong. Ah, come on. Let's do that again. Oh, my God, this is terrible. What the hell? I'm gonna do this all over again. No pressure or anything. There we go. No, I'm just gonna do that. Let's forget it. I don't know why that one didn't want to work, but we'll do that. Oh, the stars. Look. Okay. I'm gonna have that in there. What you should be having is a thin version of this, but that just does not want to do it. Don't be a feather. So there we go. For you. Oh, thank you. For you. Many spanks. For me. Socially distanced Did cheers. Yeah. So there we have Bottom. the horse medicine. Oh, that is tasty. Mmm. I love mezcal. Oh. Mezcal is one of those things that will be. It's again. It's a very. It's actually a very very sweet drink. But when you add that mezcal to it, it just adds a whole like interesting smoke. flavor to it. Yeah, liquid smoke to it. Mmm. Mm. It almost has like a, a, a fresh, fresh apple juice taste. Mm. Yeah. But it is really not. It is a really <laughs> no, no, it's gr I see fake it. green. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I know, but it tastes like it, it's brown. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there we are. And what but we're shooting for is that green color. So if you look yeah. at it, you get that really sort of nice fluorescent -y green but It's right. Color. I'm not sure if they can see it. Well, that's it, what I did the yeah. float of the... Yeah. And that, that syrup is so heavy, it just sank right to the bottom. So you get that neat little... Oh, yeah. <laughs> the horse medicine. Say that's really? my take on it. <laughs> Figure out your own version. But that's what we did. Well, thank you very much. Here we are. Thank Cheers. you. Very where are we going to be now? What are we doing now? We're doing, a, we're going to the hideaway, I think. Oh, we're going to go to the hideaway. Oh, I'm very excited for this episode yeah. because this is one of my favorite things at Kingpin's Hideaway. If you're joining us for the first time and you have not um, been made aware yet of the wonderful treasure trove that is uh, Kingpin's Hideaway, mm -hmm. um, if you're joining us from Toronto, you can actually visit live in person uh, with an appointment, of yeah. course. If not, um, for those of you joining us from elsewhere on the planet, uh, Kingpin Hi Kingpin's Hideaway is an awesome little place in Toronto. It is a veritable treasure trove of incredible finds. Of Mostly clothing and fashion, vintage clothing, vintage fashion, but then all kinds of right, other stuff as well. They trinkets fancy yeah. and vintage and cool and unique and stuff that you yeah. will... I've never seen before other than um, at Kingpin's Hideaway. No. So, um, and especially this week. This is the first time I ever saw what we're talking about. It was the first time I went to Kingpin's with you. And you saw he's got a, a special episode all about something he alluded to last week. Or last time he was here. Ooh, he's an illusionist. He's an illusionist. <laughs> and he's back. So let's take a little journey. Ready? To Kingpin's Hideaway. Six, seven, seven, seven. Hey, caught me after hours here in the hideaway. I'm the Kingpin. That's right, it's Kingpin's hideaway. I'm staying late because I'm trying to solve a friendly dispute with a colleague about the importance of the thread count in collection and money deposit bags, old money bags. You know, it's fascinating what you can find out about a culture by the thread count in the money bag. Hey, you want to see something cool? Since we're here late, it gives us a chance 
to look at one of my favorite and mysterious objects, uranium glass. Glass that was made with uranium. Uranium glass came about in a period of time when Victorians were enamored with all manner of tinted glass. They liked light pink glass and light blue glass and light brown and tawny glass. And to get a light yellow or greenish glass, they used an oxide of uranium called sodium diurinate. So giggle now, Dan, sodium diurinate. Chemistry aside, they discovered that if they put this in, they would get a nice clear glass with a strong uh, canary yellow. So going from the middle of the 19th century and into the early parts of the 20th century, this was very popular in making glass. It's also known by another name, Vaseline glass, because, because it looked like the glass was smeared with Vaseline. Production of uranium glass hit its height in the 20s, tapered off in the 30s, and hit a production brick wall when the United States government restricted access to uranium when they're working on their nuclear bomb technology. Well into the Cold War, there was a little bit more access to uranium to make sodium diurinate. But by this time, most people were quite aware of the dangers of radiation, so we're less enamored with uranium glass. There is still some uranium glass produced today, but pretty much 95% of what you're going to be able to find or get access to was all made before the 1930s. Is uranium glass really, really dangerous? I wouldn't grind it up and swallow it or carry it around in my pocket for days on end. But if you're doing that, you've got bigger problems. You really should talk to someone. The most fascinating thing I find with uranium glass is not that it's made with a radioactive substance, but what happens when it's exposed to black light. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not because of the radiation that uranium produces, it's just the way the structure of uranium is, that it will fluoresce when bombarded by UV light or black light. That's why I thought we'd do it tonight, because this, is a case of uranium glass. That sounds spooky. I was going for spooky. There are all kinds of pieces. There's decorative candy dishes that are in that beautiful uranium glass yellow. Little sugar bowls. This is the greener of the kind of uranium glass that, that is there. A little bit of iron oxide would have been added to this to make it a little more green. Even marbles. But let's see what happens when I turn out the lights. That is what's cool about uranium glass. Here's a fantastic candy dish. This one's amazing because this, this glass isn't got the uranium glass in it, it's just the edge. So it just has this fantastic glow. This is the piece that I showed you earlier that was all canary glass yellow, now just so vibrant. Here's the marbles I was showing you earlier. There's a green uranium and red uranium glass. They made glass buttons out of uranium glass. They even used uranium glass in lamps. As you can see, uranium glass is pretty cool and kind of spooky. Can you imagine having a dinner party where you had all the settings in uranium glass and then turned out the lights and you had black light? Ah, look at the time. Well, it'll have to wait till another time for us to deal with the uh, money bags thread count issue. Till then, stay dapper. That is so cool. Uranium glass. Your, uranium glass. Yeah, that's so cool. I love that. If you're in Toronto or passing through Toronto, um, go see Kingpin. Yeah. As I say every week on this show or every week since we've had him, um, budget more time than you think you're going to need because I don't think I've ever spent less than two and a half hours yeah. uh, at Kingpin's. No,
We got some oil heating. It's already hot. So it's already hot. Already. We got a smoke point already. That's why we use canola or veggie and not uh, oh. olive. We're going to get those in here. In the meantime, in between time, I'm going to wash a tiny little bit of lettuce. Can I show you my trick with smoked burgers? You can show it for sure. Do that. Put your fingerprint in. Yeah. Because if you don't, burgers tend to ball. This yeah. gets a little hot. That is, that is wonderful. Yeah, that's my little trick on you heard it here. Maybe not first, kids, Go but ahead. these are going to cook. And very quickly while we're doing that, we're going to make um, a wee bit of sauce. So I've got, I've cut the recipe from what you guys have. I cut it because we're only making two burgers. I have a quarter cup of mayo here. Quarter cup of mayo. Sorry, Baron. <laughs> I've got... A half a tablespoon <laughs> of ketchup. What did he say? Nothing. I'm just. Uh, I, I will say to uh, Kingpin is completely correct. I do find sodium diurinate quite hilarious. Half a tablespoon of ketchup. So basically, we're doing a ish Big Mac sauce here. Well, they, you know what they call that? It's uh, Cleveland. I think it's a Cleveland thing called tiger sauce. Tiger sauce. Yeah. Yeah. See, I think it needs a little bit more uh, catsup. Yeah, I'm just going to put a little bit more catsup in there. And the difference, because I don't think uh, McDee's does this, is we're going to throw in two tastes. À votre goût, les amis. Frank's Red Hot. Mm. So, like, I'm a spicy, I'm a spicy, spicy meatball. Y'all know that. Yeah, so, we're like just going to... I'm like just going to get there. I'm not a like Frank's person. I, like, I don't like my spicy as vinegary. I know. I'm a, I'm a sour pickle. You guys know that. So anything that's vinegar and spice makes me happy. I'm a bit low again this day. Why am I a bit low? I don't know. Oh, because I'm off. Totally. That's why. Okay. Totally off. Thought I... There we go. For my oh, taste, my power. I'm going to go... For my taste buds that could use a little extra Frank's, I'm going to flip those. Don't you fret. I I'm can gonna, do it. Okay, you do that. I'm going to go... Just change my batteries. You change your batteries. Sorry, everybody. He just wanted love. We're going to flip these over. I always forget with the cast iron that the whole pan gets real hot. So um, I'm going to say, because we're, we're on the overhead here and, and y'all can see how this is going. I'm quite surprised because um, as Lou was joking before, but not so joking that um, our whole lives we've been told to make burgers with a binding agent, and these seem to be staying together just fine. So, um, maybe take the extra cholesterol out of your burger and don't use the egg. I don't, I don't know. I am not the boss of I you. I find it's, it's, it um, comes down to how, um, how well you bind that burger together. I like to really work the meat a little bit. And I didn't. I, I, did, I did very little working of the meat oh. because I didn't want to beat my meat too much uh, on the internet. That's where you and I differ. I understand that. I like to be my meat. Um, and very quickly, I'm just going to spin around and throw two buns in the toaster oven. So you talk to the people. You know, do you want to do them on here? We can always do. Oh, you want to do them in there? I'm oh, just gonna I toast can, them. Oh, you're going to toast them. Okay. So toast we've them got a some bit. burgers going. I'm going to flip this back up to here. I really. Oh, that's still. I'm going to let that sit. That's a. I find also. I, I, this is a big thing, especially around summer. I don't mm -hmm. know if it's just me. It's just you. Uh, I cook. I cook a lot of meat. Uh, in our, I think in our in our family, um, you cook a lot of the other stuff. I cook a lot of the meat. You think that's a fair statement? Um. I mean, you cook a lot of meat too, but I think you I cook I, a lot of meat. I think I. I, I cook I, more of the meat. You. Is this a competition? No, it's not. You why, can win. Why does everything have to be a competition? I don't with you? know. I'm just wondering. Well, you. Well, well, you're I, I was. Me. I was. Well, why? I literally got a, a simple yes or no question. You're the one making a bigger deal about who cooks more meat. I was trying to set up something. Yes, you cook more of the meat. Never mind. Now I'm intrigued. Yeah, no, it's true. I, I definitely do more of the seafood and more of the soup. Yeah. I'm the soup chef. You cook a lot of of the vet. You cook a lot of other things. I cook a lot of meat. I find. Everybody around the summertime wants to immediately go to a, a barbecue. I love a pan for steaks, for burgers. I love a pan. I find you, you can control it a lot better. You get a much cleaner sear. 
Um, so I've, all my stuff, I've always felt like let's, I like to go to a pan. I'm a grill gal. I love the grill. I, I love the fact that it, I think it, it's you fine. don't need a lot of oil. It, you know, it's cooking in its own. I don't think you also need a lot of oil with a, with a lot of the things you do with, with steaks or, or burgers. Um, but smoke can. There we go. So there we have that going. We're probably got to go bring that down just a little bit. A couple of minutes left on that. Um, buns are buns are in the oven. <laughs> ah, Daniel is here. He wants to know. He wants to know about the meat. What would you like to know about our meat, Daniel? It's delicious. Daniel is going to machine things. He's telling me. Pardon me? He's learning to machine things. Like meats? No, he's trying to no to machine machine like my. I, I understand, but why didn't you make it sound? Like <laughs> Because that's funny for me sometimes. Oh, all right. Okay, sorry. So Missed that one. Well, we were talking about meat, and then you said he was learning how to machine things, so I wasn't sure if he was, like, learning how to machine meat. I don't know what machined meat is. I don't... Uh, probably that. <laughs> oh, that looks really nice. Oh, that, that looks good. That looks good. That's, that's a, really nice. Can we go nice. overhead for a sec? Let's go overhead. Boom. Flip that out. Catherine Folsom said soup chef. You still have that apron? If you still have that apron, I would be most impressed. Um, so there we have, we're almost done, probably about another two minutes on that. I'm so welcome, and I'm glad that you're watching. Um, while those are cooking. <laughs> Baron. <laughs> <laughs> no, tis not. I don't know what you're talking we about. We didn't buy our I meat at Ikea. Um, we got about 14 minutes. I think we should, do you want to go to that while he's... Sure. Why don't we do that? We can just move this out of the way. It really doesn't need that much more time. Yeah, we'll let that... Um, Lou, how do you like your burgers? Uh, Meat. Medium rare. Cool. Right. Like almost dead? Like... Well, okay. why don't we all take a visit to see Chef Duyan? What is Chef Duyan doing with his cheeseburger? Because he was making burger jello. You don't want to see do. that. I kind of am very curious about this. Chef Yuyan, I think it's time we finally return to see how this 